Hello, my fam. It is Perez. I love you. I've had a good weekend thus far, and my brain is running at a hundred. I do even more thinking on Saturdays and Sundays than I do during the week when I am in autopilot mode, being a dad, doing my 500 jobs, going to the gym. And I had this thought, you know, I haven't made a relationships video in a while. And the reason I haven't made a relationships video in a while is because I haven't been in a relationship in a while. I haven't even gone out on a date in four months. <laughs> So I thought, you know what? I wanna put this energy out there and specifically, I wanna talk about visualize and manifest my dream man. I think this was uh, an idea that was sparked earlier in the week when I made a video with my mom during her mukbang where I was manifesting professional goals and aspirations, trying to secret them into being. And then this weekend, and I think during the week as well also, I kept thinking about possibly going on dates, but not really wanting to use the site that I used to, to use anymore. I think that's the major roadblock right now. In the past 10 years, I have been very successful with online dating, but not since moving back to Los Angeles and using the one website that I used in New York where I got a lot of dates from. Here, I think a few things have happened, two specifically, or more. I think people in LA don't check that one site so much, or people aren't checking that website anymore. It's not match.com, but it's kind of match.com-ish. And instead they're using sites like Raya or um, Tinder or Bumble or whatever it may be. And I'm not a fan, as I've said before, of a dating thing where it's just on my phone because A, I type a lot faster on my laptop and B, I don't want to get a notification when I get a new message. I want to be able to check it at night on my laptop when I have time and when I want to. So. I haven't even checked the one that I'm on in forever. And that's work. And you know, I, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm a dad and I have 500 jobs. That's basically all I do with my time. I go take my kids to school, I go to the gym, I come home, I work, I work, I work, repeat. Maybe every once in a while, I will go and do something else. Like earlier this week, I was on Good Morning Britain again talking about, what was I talking, I was on twice this week, once talking about R. Kelly, the other time talking about um, Michael Jackson as well as R. Kelly, I believe. I don't remember exactly because my brain is mush by the end of the week. And actually, my driver to Good Morning Britain was so handsome. And actually he looks like one of my ex-boyfriends. And I was almost tempted to tell him that or somehow flirt, but I thought it would be inappropriate of me to flirt with my driver. I am a wuss, okay? That's why I do like the dating sites because the one that I use, if I like somebody, if I rate them a four or five star, and if they view my profile and rate me a four or five, and the system sends us both an automated notification that we liked each other, then I'll message somebody. Otherwise, I ain't messaging anybody. Uh, but I just didn't think it was professional or appropriate to flirt with this driver. Plus also, he looked younger. If I had to guess his age, I would say 28. And not that I'm against 28, but ideally I am going to date somebody around my age. I'm going to be 41 in less than two weeks. So this is the perfect segue to now get out of my mouth and my brain, my dream guy. First and foremost, the most important thing, well, I think there's a few tied, tied for the most important thing nice and honest and loyal. Those three things, nice, 
honest and loyal. Nice, honest, and loyal. I was thinking, <laughs> I even was thinking you could be boring, but I don't want boring. But listen, I don't want to date myself either. I think opposites attract. However, you also do need shared common interests. My dream guy, his profession is a teacher, somebody who works at a nonprofit, a therapist, something like somebody who helps others, somebody who loves what they do for a living, who's driven, who's passionate, who has passions, who of course I'm into visually and have great chemistry with in bed, who, um, who is willing to take a chance on me. Because as I said in a previous video, a lot of gay men, actually most gay men do not like me. But I'm a great partner. So I need somebody strong who can deal with the baggage that it comes dating me, who will ignore the chatter of friends or even family prejudging me before they've even met me or gotten to know me. Ideally, in my dream world, I'll date somebody and marry somebody who doesn't even have social media. Wouldn't that be something? And I want somebody who will love me for me, who <laughs> Give me two minutes. <laughs> Somebody who will love me for me. <laughs> we keep rolling. It's the weekend. I'm not gonna stop this and re-edit it because then it takes much longer to upload. La la la. Love her. Somebody who loves me. Somebody who will love my mom. Love my kids. I come with a lot. Um, fudge, I don't even know what I was trying to say. Um, doesn't even have social media. Uh, yeah. Somebody strong, that's what I was getting at. Um, it's not gonna be easy. I don't think it's gonna happen any, I don't know, it might happen soon. I would love for that to happen, but if you know anybody, send them my way. If you are that somebody, come on over. Uh, I don't know, it's weird because I think most people these days meet online or on an app or something like that. But it, it can happen if God or the universe wants it to, right? I'm, I, I've kind of resigned myself to that or to, to being alone. I'm happy. If I'm never in a relationship, that would suck, but I'm still happy. I want that, but I don't feel like I need it. I do feel like a piece of me is missing but you can still function and live with a piece of you that's missing. There are plenty of high functioning athletes with a missing limb, okay? That is a great analogy. He's out there. It might be you. I want somebody who won't, oh, there we go, who, won't, who will love me for me who won't try to change me. I make silly dancing videos and I, I like making them a lot. I, it brings me joy, it sparks joy. So I don't want somebody who'll be embarrassed if, if I'm dancing with my kids or by myself. I like wearing silly clothes sometimes. I don't want somebody who's gonna, I don't wanna feel like I'm suppressing a piece of me to make somebody else happy. I want somebody who will love me for me. I don't think that's too much to ask for, is it? Hi, Jai. I mean, it does give me hope that since I've been Perez, I was in a one year relationship, kept that real quiet. That was a while ago now, that was in 2010. And last year I did go out on three dates, no, no, two dates with, no, Four dates with two people. Can't even remember. 
So that gave me hope that people were willing to get to know me and, but you know, I don't know why they wanted to and la la la. And I think, you know what? Even though I am who I am, I am somebody who lives their life honestly and with an open heart. And I will continue to be that way because that's the only way uh, I know how to be. <laughs> Unapologetically me. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You are my brother, my sister. I love you. Unless you're my future boyfriend, husband, then you're not my brother. If you enjoyed this video, if you have uh, any advice to give, leave comments in the section below. If you enjoyed, uh, share this, hit the like button, follow, subscribe if you're not doing that, and I love ya. And I'm going to Vegas this week, yay! Mwah.